values then nothing that has happened since the end of World War II represents our values. How many in this chamber, like me, have gone to Holocaust memorial events and heard the refrain, never again, never again, on the same continent, in the same proximity, to the same death camps, it is happening again and happened again. But this time it was not Jews. It was primarily Muslims. In 1935 and 37 and 39 and 41 and 43, had it been Catholics like me or Protestants like many in here who are being taken to death camps, the world would have risen up years earlier. But it was not. It was Jews. And we all turned a blind eye as a world. I respectfully suggest, were it not Muslims this time who were in the rape camps, were it not Muslims who were being exterminated, who were part of this new phrase, I wonder how many of us ever thought, as students of World War II, or as participants in World War II, that we would ever serve in the Senate and hear the phrase openly used by one isn't that an antiseptic term? And notwithstanding the fact only the Serbs used the phrase, I kept hearing on this floor that they're all the same. They're all the same. There have been atrocities committed by Muslims and by Croats, but they have not set up rape camps. They have not set up death camps. They have not mass murdered as part of a coherent plan of people based upon their ethnicity and their religion. That's called genocide. Genocide. That's what it is. And now, even in our move to state what our vital interest is, this administration and others who support it are afraid to use the word. We're told we're not taking sides. I'm here to take sides. Milotic is a war criminal, the leader of the Bosnian Serbs. He is no better than Himmler. He is no better than Goebbels. He is a war criminal. Karadzic is a war criminal. And I might add the leader of Serbia, Milosevic, is also a war criminal. Although he's the only one not indicted so far. And so I hear people stand here and say, what is our interest?